Mina, Q1 M&A activity drops 65%, and Barouche sees Q1 net profit of $199 million. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Farah. The MENA region's M&A activity reached $8.3 billion in Q1, a 65% drop from the same period last year. A Refinitiv report reveals Q1 MENA investment banking fees dropped 62% year-on-year to $225.2 million. The advisory fees earned by completed M&A transactions declined 70% year-on-year to $66.1 million in the quarter. The syndicate lending fees also slumped by a massive 97% year-on-year, bottoming out at $6.8 million. But debt capital markets fees skyrocketed by 275% to $81.6 million. Petrochemical company Barouge saw Q1 net profit of $199 million. Q1 revenues hit $1.38 billion. Its adjusted EBITDA came in at $460 million. Barouge says it will pay a $1.3 billion dividend for 2023. It provides polyolefin solutions. Pricing for polyethylene and polypropylene improved by between 17 and 22 percent from the previous quarter. As such, Barouge maintained its healthy polyolefin pricing premium, which was a key competitive advantage for the business. Arab National Bank saw Q1 net profit shoot up by 64.1% year-on-year to $284.7 million. The strong results were mainly driven by a rise in net gains on sales of investments in non-trading instruments. The Riyadh-based bank's total assets grew in the quarter by 4.6% year-on-year to $57 billion. Investments edged lower by 2.1% to $11.4 billion. Deposits also increased by 4.8% year-on-year to about $41.4 billion. Major stock indices notched their best day in months overnight thanks to mid-earnings season optimism. The gains were largely driven by a handful of mega-cap stocks. The Dow Jones jumped 1.5%, the S&P 500 rose 1.9%, and the tech-heavy Nasdaq rose 2.4%. That's the Dow and the S&P's largest gain since January 6, and the Nasdaq's best day since February 2nd. Spearheading the U.S. market rally was Meta, which gained 14%, picking up $75 billion in market value after reporting strong financial results. Alphabet rose 4%, Amazon rose 5%, Apple rose 3%, and Microsoft rose 3%, Nvidia rose 1%. Those six stocks, the world's six largest tech companies, added nearly $320 billion in market cap overnight. Meta, Alphabet and Microsoft each beat analysts' forecasts for profit and sales in Q1. And those gains are reflected in the Forbes Real-Time Billionaires ranking, which tracks the daily ups and downs of the world's richest people, with Mark Zuckerberg, our biggest winner overnight, gaining $10.1 billion, and now with net wealth of $84.9 billion. Our second biggest winner is Jeff Bezos, up $4.8 billion, with net wealth of $132.8 billion. And our third place winner is Elon Musk, up $4.2 billion, with net wealth of $171.8 billion. Check out our website and our social media for all of the latest billionaires news. U.S. GDP grew at an annual rate of 1.1% in Q1, signaling a slowing economy amid the Federal Reserve's rate hikes, the banking crisis, and rising inflation. In Q4 2022, U.S. GDP came in at 2.6%. U.S. Commerce Department data shows the 1.1% rise this quarter reflects an increase in federal government spending, consumer spending, exports, state and local government spending, and other factors. And oil is headed for its sixth straight monthly decline, its longest run of losses in eight years. Investors see U.S. inflation accelerating and they're anticipating Federal Reserve interest rate hikes. Falling refiner profit margins in Asia are also a sign of demand weakness in the world's biggest oil importing region. The major rebound in Chinese demand hasn't materialized and supply from Russia remains resilient. Oil rose sharply this month on OPEC Plus's price cut announcement but then dropped again as the demand outlook dimmed. I'm Ramia Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.